name is Jasmine and I'm absent 13. Hi everyone, my name is Marcia Narsakti. I'm from the 12th Science 6th grade, present number 20. Hi, my name is Michelle and I'm number 22. Hi, my name is Peter and I'm number 25. Hi, I'm Russell Owen, I'm number 26. is an essential component of every community and society around the world. The majority of people used to eat fresh, home-cooked food until the last century. Eating was a phase in which some arrangements were appropriate. But we can see now that they tend to eat fast food, like pizza, hamburgers, and fried chicken. These fast food restaurants have become common in our streets and they are visited by people of all ages. Internationally, the success of these restaurants has increased. There are many explanations for the popularity of fast food. And fast food often has some significant effects on people and society. Okay, so what do we have here? Let me explain to you in a brief moment. Uh, the factor causing uh, to many junk food is because of stress psychological factor. Uh, it is the utmost part uh, of why uh, people usually you know, eat too many junk food. Okay, so let me explain the effects. There are two effects. The first one is the general for adults and the second one is the for children. Okay, so for adults, usually we have uh, chronic diseases and then uh, we have a sleep apnea, addiction and then increased obesity. Well, obviously, right? And then for children, we usually have the third one, the atopy, asthma, eczema, or rhinitis. It is the most fatal part. We have the sleep apnea too, poor academics, lesser energy, constipation, and then usually hyperactive kids. So, what is the factor that causing it? Yes, stress, psychological factors. Stress is a feeling of emotional. Or physical tension. It can come from any event or thought that makes you feel frustrated, angry, or nervous. Stress is your body's reaction to a challenge or demand. In short bursts, stress can be positive, such as when it helps you avoid danger or meet a deadline. But when stress lasts for a long time, it may harm your health. So, here's the causes for children. Hyperactive, constipation, less energy, poor academics, sleep disturbance, and atopy. And for adults, increased obesity, addiction, sleep disturbances, and chronic diseases. So, without any further ado, let's go directly to the topic. So, the first effect for children is hyperactive. Essential fatty acids are typically missing or lacking for fast foods. These include omega-3 and omega-6 plant saturated fatty acids which cannot be produced within the body but are essential for the manufacture of cell membranes and are also required in high concentrations within the brain and retina. The lack of such nutrients is thought to be associated with increased antisocial behavior and perhaps with hyperactivity, though more research is needed to prove this. Constipation. An overdose of calories, fats, sugars, and other carbohydrates in repeated meals changes the food desires of the child and make it less likely that the child will eat fibers, milk, fruits, and vegetables. This can result in greater chances of constipation. Fast food can inhibit participation in extracurricular activities because it doesn't provide adequate nutrients for physical activity. Lack of physical activity not only keeps children out of peer groups, but also impairs physical and mental health. 
fast food can lead to impaired academic performance because high sugar levels followed by sugar crashes and poor concentration levels make it difficult to accomplish tasks which need extended periods of focus attention. Blood sugar fluctuations can also result in mood swings and a lack of alertness, lowering classroom participation. Sip disturbance. Eating junk food which contains sugar, caffeine, and high carbs throughout the day can cause pronounced changes to blood sugar, which can bring on feeling of fatigue that can alter your daily routine and your sleep patterns at night. Therapy stands for asthma, eczema, or rhinitis. Fast food intake more than three times a week is associated with greater odds of aerobic disorders, such as asthma, eczema, or rhinitis. While asthma severity is almost 40% higher in teenagers and more than 25% in younger children. Eating junk food 4 until 6 times a week leads to lower math and reading skills compared to the children who doesn't eat so much junk food. Moving on to adults, we mostly found that chronic diseases are mostly caused by junk food since it provides all sorts of unnecessary components in our body such as unneeded sodium, saturated fats, and overwhelming sugar. For example, people who consume junk food every day are often prone to cardiovascular disease, type 2 diabetes, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, and some cancers. Okay, so the second one is sleep disturbances. Junk food that's problematic for your waistline can also be troublesome to your sleep. Eating sugary foods throughout the day can cause pronounced changes to blood sugar which can bring on feelings of fatigue that can alter your daily routine and your sleep patterns at night. Eating junk food at night can interfere with your sleep, causing poor sleep or sleeplessness, which in turn increases food cravings. Next is addiction. Eating a lot of fast food in childhood makes it really hard to stay healthy later in life. Even if related to medical problems that are already evident, because childhood food habits solidify by adulthood, the addictive taste of fast food makes it unlikely that the palate will later savor the less complicated and less spicy flavors of ordinary food. Okay, and last one is increased obesity. One of the most common side effects of consuming junk foods is increased obesity. Its composition of loads of sugar, calories, and fats contribute to weight gain. Obesity can cause many medical issues like diabetes, joint pain, and heart diseases. Okay, to sum up all of the information that we have gathered today, we have come to this conclusion. So yeah, actually junk food doesn't have any um, any positive effects on our body. It is very bad for your health, so you should eat it regularly uh, since it has like um, could cause several types of illness and probably the weight gain. It is the worst part. Okay, so as we have stated before, there are no positive gains that we can get from eating this junk food So therefore, it would be the best to avoid consuming it uh, whenever we can Okay class, so it looks like we are already at the end of our presentation today So personally, we want to thank you to everyone who tuned in on our presentation about the cause and the effects uh, causing why we eat too many junk food Okay, so have a nice day and I hope we meet again in the future and God bless you. Goodbye.